Breaking news, Nigerians. Powerful prophet issues strong warnings to Tunubu. Says Nigeria will be destroyed if it does not do this immediately. Welcome back to Prospects Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Pastor Adewale Giwa, the senior pastor of Awaiting, the second coming of Christ ministry, has offered advice to President Bola Tinubu, urging him to distance himself from individuals who may lead him astray from the devotion to God. Last week, President Tinubu held a meeting with Bill Gates, the co-chair of the Bill and Mel Melinda Gates Foundation, where he reaffirmed his commitment to collaborating with Gates on health care advancement. During the meeting in Abuja, Tenubu pledged to take all necessary measures to work with Gates in the global fight against polio, measles, malaria, and other prevalent diseases. Nevertheless, Pastor Giwa, while addressing his congregation in Akure on Sunday, cautioned that making deals with the devil carries inevitable consequences. He emphasized the need for the president to stay clear of those who support some sex marriage and those who facilitate the, the rise of Antichrist, warning against the the consequences of aligning oneself with forces opposed to God. Giwa stated, The devil won't give you anything without expecting something in return. Why should you collaborate with individuals who are against God? Responding to those who praise Tinubu's performance, he advised and conscience, suggesting that it is it is premature to pass judgment on President Tunubu's administration at this stage. The pastor highlighted the importance of President Tunubu being mindful of his interactions with global leaders, using him to exercise discretion. He called upon Tunubu's wife to promptly counsel her husband to stay, to stay clear of individuals seeking to wage war against God's people. This advice from Pastor Ade, Adewola Giwa comes at a time when President Tinubu is actively engaging in partnerships from the betterment of healthcare, particularly in uh, addressing widespread diseases. Why these efforts are commendable? The pastor's concerns regarding potential promise compromises on matters of faith underscore the delicate balance Tinubu must strike in his endeavors. As President Tinubu continues to navigate his political journey, it remains to be seen how he will respond to the guidance of guidance offered by Pastor Giwa. The importance of maintaining strong moral principles, principles while pursuing societal progress is a challenge force by many leaders, and it is a test that Tinubu must confront in his pursuit of healthcare development and the, 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 the critical areas of governance. Meanwhile, in another developing story, the Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria Uriwa has appealed to President Bola Tinubu to designate a candidate from the South, Southern Nigeria as the next chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. In an official statement released by Uriwa's National Coordinator, Mr. Emmanuel Ongubiko, the organization expressed its concern regarding the consistent appointment of individuals from the northern part of the country to the position of EFCC chairman since the commission's inception. This pattern has created the perception that the position is exclusively reserved for the north, thus preventing equal 
capable candidates from the South from contributing to the fight against corruption. Recognizing Tinubu uh, as a, a prominent leader, renowned for his dedication to fairness, justice, and equity, Oriwa employed him to uphold these principles by appointing a candidate from the South, the Southern region as the next EFCC chairman. Such a decision, according to Oriwa, would send a resounding message of unity and inclusivity fostering harmony and balance within Nigeria. Oriwa underscored the importance of national institu institutions like the EFCC reflecting the diversity of Nigeria and promoting inclusion. The association emphasized the need for the EFCC chairman to be appointed based on merit, competence, and a proven track record in combating corruption. Furthermore, Oriwa advocated for the nationalization of the ESCC chairmanship to ensure fair representation from all regions of Nigeria. Oriwa firmly believes that by nurturing transparency and credibility in the appointment process, Nigeria can fortify its fight against economic and financial crimes while fostering a more inclusive and united nation by appointing a capable candidate from the southern region, the government would demonstrate its commitment to tackling corruption and ensuring equitable representation in key leadership positions. The call from Oriwas highlights the growing demand for diversity and fairness in the appointment of key positions within Nigerian institutions. As the fight against corruption remains a top priority for the nation, it is crucial to enhance the experts and capabilities of individuals from all regions. Presenting Tinubu's decision regarding the next EFCC chairman will undoubtedly have significant implications for Nigerians' anti-corruption efforts and the promotion of unity among its diverse population. So guys, you've all heard it now. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.